Kelly, you helped pass SB 54 uh, in the California legislature uh, in November 2023. Can you tell us the motivation, what this bill is, and why you thought it was important? Yeah, I, I think we go back to the beginning of how how this all came about. We've uh, my wife and I. Uh, uh, my wife's a breast cancer survivor. And uh, so we've been investing. We've been contributing a lot to, to women's health issues. Uh, we felt that that was, that was actually, you know, it didn't really, it, it was, you didn't know where the money was going. I mean, you, you put a check in the mail and it, it was very unfulfilling, right? So we decided that we would, if we were going to affect women's health issues, maybe we needed to really focus on women in politics. Mm-hmm. But we bring in more women in power. And so we got- Because very, funding for for women- you need more women to allocate more funding to women. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you know, I think we have more women in the legislatures. We have more people concerned about women's health issues, about women's, you know, maybe all sorts of gender equity issues. Right? Actually, one of our labs, uh, Rem Koning, has done some great work showing that as you have more women scientists and teams for products, more yeah. women-centered products come out. Yeah. But And that's, there's a whole market missing for women, women-centered focused products. Uh, and it's because there aren't any women in product development teams and engineering teams. So it's the same kind of a logic. Same kind of line. And there's all kinds of data that shows that even even men who have daughters actually in the VC world contribute more to women uh, founders than, yeah. than men who don't have daughters. So so having the representation in leadership, we thought was really important because those are the leaders that actually direct funds, they direct you know resources, as opposed to us just giving to a single resource. Yeah. So we felt we were having a bigger impact. And then what happened was we we thought, well, wait a minute, we're not you don't have actual real gender parity until you have financial parity. Mm. So we were looking at the numbers and we found that in, in the state of California or the United States, the amount of venture capital allocated to wing was two years ago, uh, was it went from 2.5% dropped in a single year to 1.9%. And now we've just got the new numbers out. Uh, now we're at 1.8%. So it's continuing its descent. And if you think about that number, that literally 98% of all the funds that are a- allocated to venture capital go to people who look like me. Yeah. Um, we You're how tall? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry? How tall are you? I'm six foot three. I want okay. as tall as you are. Okay. Wait, not as tall as you are. Okay. Um, but, but yeah, there are people who look like, you know, white, male, straight, Christian born, you know, I mean, all, yeah. the, all the things that I was born with, the advantages yeah. I was born with, they're real advantages. Yeah. I was getting all the money. Mm. People who look like me are getting all the money. So we felt we could not have actual. Uh, gender equality if we didn't have financial equality, Mm -hmm. right? Men, uh, black men, 2%. Mm -hmm. If you're a woman of color, 0.006. It is any other industry in the world, it would be a, it would be a crime. Yeah. Right. They'd be out of business. So we, we felt like, you know, what is the first thing we can do? There's so many different pieces of the puzzle that we need to put together to actually create this gender equality. But tell me this a little bit about how your journey from breast cancer to legislative to venture capital? Like, why were you motivated by VC? Well, I think because we felt that, again, we we felt that that if we could change the economic, you know, uh, disparity, okay. we could then, there, the political power would emanate from the financial power. Got it. So we were looking at it backwards. We went from single issue. Yes. We went to political power. Yes. And then we realized that all of it emanates. From from financial power. So let's go there. So, okay. So we we set up a family office. We were we're investing in in women, so exclusively yeah. women. Uh, but we also realized that that's just one part of it. We can't invest our way out of this. No. Yeah. You know, there's not a whole lot of people who could. If you, would. but if we can if we can actually start moving the needle from a from a regulatory point. Of view, yeah. If we could increase, for example, the amount of funding that's allocated to to women and people of color. By one percent, we've added two point six billion dollars into the into the into the equation. The people who normally wouldn't get funded, and why is that important? You know, we are the, the the planet is getting hotter every day. We've got issues that government will never be able to solve. We're looking at the private sector to solve it. Yeah. So when we're trying to invent the future, when we're trying to actually solve the problems of the world that are so desperately needing solved, we're literally tying one hand behind the planet's back and saying because oh, women, right. yeah. Yeah. Are 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 capable yeah. of creating uh, the, the technology and the future that that uh, that is going to actually save this planet, and yeah. it's a ridiculous state. Yeah, That's so, got it, got it. And so, Derek, how did you meet up with Kelly, and um, maybe tell a bit about yourself to our audience who may not know the important role you play in the music business first, and then 
yeah. why you got motivated to also support this bill. I mean, actually testify. Yeah, yeah, testify yeah. in front of uh, the Banking and Finance Committee. Yeah. Um, the journey, man, is long. I'll see if I can shorten it up. But, you know, um, you got some you know, myself, yeah, you sure. know, uh, a mostly Grammy Award winning audio engineer, I've been yeah. part of Pulse or winning albums. Um, I, I've been blessed, you know, yeah. I've been blessed. Who have you worked with just so people? Um, top level, Kendrick Lamar, Drake, um, you know, uh, Nipsey Hussle, Mac Miller, um, you know, uh, people that SZA, the, you know, the list going on. Yeah. Pretty much 80% of the music that people listen to in today's time. Yeah. Um, but you know, the journey was just cliche story, right? Kid from the hood, right? Didn't have nothing, right? But just was hungry, had tenacity. Um, was willing to outwork anybody in the room, right? right? Um, and that got me to where I am today. Um, self-taught. Self-taught. With great know, mentors. A hundred percent. Even before the mentors, right? It was just the, the fire of, of, of willingness to learn, to, to strive towards something, right? You know, coming from where I come from, you're either a rapper or you're a sports player. Yeah. Right. You know, there was no one in my inner circle that, you know, had any interest in becoming an audio engineer. Yeah. You know, but I think it's that unknowing that kind of pushed me deeper into it, right? Yeah. It's just diving into something I know nothing about. Yes. Right. But something that just, you know, pulled on my heartstrings, something that, you know, took a kid with, you know, ADHD, right, and sat him down um, is, is what gravitated me towards it. But, um, you know, so from that, you know, I've entered, you know, my career as an audio engineer, you know, it hit every landmine the industry had waiting for me. Mm -hmm. um, and that ultimately got to the point to, you know, me becoming one of the biggest in the world. Um, and having a voice, having the opportunity to now, you know, help fill those landmines, right, with solutions to help people that come after me. Yes. To not deal with not knowing how to pay taxes, yes. not knowing how to manage themselves as businesses, not knowing where to go creatively. That's inspiring, you know, um, their own, you know, potential growth as small businesses. Um, but, you know, how we got connected was, you know, a good friend of mine, Dali Singh, um, you know, emailed me and said, you guys should know each other. Right. right? And, you know, didn't know what to expect. Uh, Kelly came by. I was expecting a woman, honestly. Uh, <laughs> his name, you know, uh, his name, yeah. But he came by, and you know, just you know, off, um, you know, off of that first, uh, you know, introduction, off meeting, we there was some sort of connection that was made there, um, you know. And I expressed, um, you know, what we're building with our startup engineers, which yeah. is providing the business solutions for audio engineers to help manage and streamline their businesses. Got it. Um, so you're creating like a platform? Yeah, a vertical SaaS platform for music professionals. You know, yeah. the goal for us at scale is to uh, develop the operating system of the music industry, starting with audio engineers who are at ground level, who don't have any resources, uh, you know, to, 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 to create some type of success for their business. So you're a startup entrepreneur now? 100%. Now, yeah. Startup entrepreneur. Cre creative turn venture starter, create, uh, a creative turn startup founder. Um, you know, and you know, it couldn't have been at the perfect time because, you know, as, you know, I am, you know, I would be looked at as, that perfect individual to create in the space in which I'm building it. Right? Yes. Um, but because the issue of us raising venture capital, it's like, what am I doing wrong? So what, tell, tell us a bit about like what you faced. You have this idea, you yeah. have this incredible CV right. resume. Right. All the artists in the world are flocking to work with right. you. You turn right. them down because right. you, there's only so much time you have. 100%. And now you're like, okay, now I've got this great idea to take what you know and build a 100%. company around that. What did you face as you're trying to raise funding? I mean, just just the, just the the doubt in in which you know can this guy really you know uh, execute on this ambitious vision of creating an OS for the music industry, you know? And it's like, hey, you know, I've I've I've, I've beat the odds in every every other field of my life. Yeah. Right? Is why am I being challenged this much here? Yeah. You know, when you know other companies are raising ten times as much as I'm looking to raise off of mere idea. Yeah. Right. And you know, so you know, I was just feeling, you know. Uh, the discouraged, just feeling discouraged from having these conversations, right? Just feeling, um, you know, the, the the questions that are being asked are directed towards my CTO and co-founder rather than yeah. me. When I'm the CEO, and you know, it's just based off of my life's work and based off of the the things that I've experienced firsthand, right? Um, so, you know, when Kelly and I got connected, you know, it was an instant hit when it came to just being a part of the mission. You know, just you know, you know, being a part of SB54 to be able to you know inspire the youth that come before me yeah. or come after me, right? Yeah. To let them know, hey. You know, if there's issues with things that you, you know, don't understand, right, go and fix them, right? You know, yeah. and showing the journey on how to do so. You know, so I did testify, you know, um, in front of the Banking and Finance Committee, um, just speaking of my experience. Yeah. Why is somebody who's reached tremendous success in his career, who's building in the space in which he created the success, why is it still so hard yeah. to raise venture capital, right? So, you know, there might be a deeper question to be yeah. after. So what's the thesis of the bill? Basically, the belief is that if, through the through the the sunlight, if you will, to the to the transparency, the transparency, <clears throat> that if we if we were accountable, especially the large venture capitalists, for showing the 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 amount of not only the the amount of the percentages of the the capital that are going to to the various communities, 
but also the amount of money that's going. So you can't say you you invested you know five thousand dollars in Derek and five hundred million in me and it's fifty fifty. Right? Right. So we need to know the amount of money too. And the the basic philosophy is very simple. If it's exposed, if it's public, it will change. So are you imposing quotas on the no, VC no, industry? No. This is okay. just a in fact, if Derek decided as a as a as an investor that he didn't want to disclose, yeah. he, he would he would right. opt out. Yeah. Um no, so this is basically a reporting requirement. Simply reporting. But it goes a little bit further because we realize that in California, we do about 36% of all venture capital that's allocated comes from California and yes. California companies. Yes. So we figured this would have a global impact. And I have a, a company, of my family also in Australia, and we, yeah. we, we invest in Australian women. The, what we also did was we said, okay, for our, for our, for our retirement funds, you know, if, you're, mm. if you want our retirement funds, if you want them as LPs, lender partners in yes. your business, you also have to disclose. So if you're in Dubai, yes, and you're a, you're a GP in Dubai, yes, and you take our money, you also have to disclose. So it. it does have a global impact, and we're hoping to be able to lift it up. And just by the the transparency alone, we think we can move the needle a few points. Now that's just the first step, but but it's a big step. It's the first of its kind. But, but if I could jump in, just think about what that provides. I've spoken to I would say up to a thousand of VCs right over the past you know two years of my journey. You know, yes, started founder. Yeah, that's what you got to do with this. And it's just, just it's not knocking at the doors, which I have no problem doing. Yeah. Right, but you I got can, the hustle. I can it. feel when I'm just a box being checked off. I can see somebody playing solitaire on the other side of the computer <laughs> as I'm pitching my life's work to them, right? Yeah. You know, and, and, and imagine somebody really being deterred from their journey because of those interactions, in which, like I said, that one person might be somebody on course to change the world, right? yeah. and being discouraged by somebody who's not even really interested in what you have to say, right? So if, I didn't have, if there's somewhere for me to kind of, you know, who, who are the funds or who are the people that are investing in, you know, in, in my community or in my space, let me talk to them first, right? Rather than just shooting a dark, a dart in the dark, right? I feel like that that value alone um, is something that you know. Uh, I wish I wish I had. Yeah, I would save hours. Statistically, yeah. one out of fifty are going to invest in in Derek. Statistically, if he was a black female, you know, it's one out of a thousand. So, how many people are getting discouraged because yes. they get to that one out of a thousand? Yes. Out of 50? Yeah, and maybe that's part of the problem. Yeah. So, at the actual knowledge of who's actually investing in the things that you're doing and the kind of person you are, I think uh, I think is going to be. Yeah. And certainly, as people know, VC funds are based on endowments from universities, from pension funds, from all over, all over America. So like it's our it's our retirement money going into these VC funds to help them do the investments. And if they don't represent the makeup of our country, then then that has that that is problematic. What was the resistance you faced? I'm sure like with all welcoming to you sort of saying, hey, Kelly, high five. Let's go. Let's make this happen. Or like. Yeah. Did you get pushback? It's funny because we didn't really, up until the very last oh, committee that oh. you actually came in and did, Derek actually saved this bill and at the end. We went through various committees, the floor of the uh, Senate, the floor of the, uh, almost to the floor of the legislature in the last committee. And all of a sudden we started feeling the pressure from the venture capital community. And, and by, by the venture capital community, it's the, the National Venture Capital Association. Yeah. I would say 80% of all the feedback we got from VCs was very positive. The lower level VCs, the smaller VCs, the middle level VCs, but the, but the association is actually representing, you know, their constituency is really big. Yeah, it's the power distribution. Like, well, the big VCs are massive and then everybody else is, 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 yeah, is very small. And we got this kind of feedback. What are you trying to, you trying to shame us? I'm like, well, yeah, if you can be shamed, yes. But if you can't be shamed, you should be proud of these numbers, right? And uh, and we saw a little bit of wavering, and then and then Derek kind of came in and did his thing to the to to to, uh, to one of the assemblymen mm. and to, to the to one of the majority leaders, uh, and just just flipped that. Yeah. Then if he can, then it went to the governor, mm. and then we had some serious pushback at the yeah. governor's level because you know there's there's folks. That well, we see industry is very important for California, right? Yes. You can't you can't have them sort of upset at the legislature as well. well. And, and to his credit, the governor, this is a, an issue that is near and dear to he and his wife and his family. And, and you know, and it's the right thing to do. He yeah. would have not, had he vetoed this, he would have had to explain why he vetoed it. Yeah. He doesn't have to explain why he signed it. Yeah. And, and again, California, we pride ourselves in being the first in virtually everything we do. So being the first of its kind in this gender equity bill, I think is, yeah. is was really important. Um, so what, what are you hoping for you as somebody motivated by this cause? What do you think this is going to unleash, you think? Well, first and of all, you said this is the first step. So tell me what what else yeah, you think. There are a couple. Of, okay, so if we look at it across the globe, we've got we have people in Australia, New Zealand, uh, Great Britain, people all over the all over the country. Governors have been calling us saying, "Okay, we want to be next." Yeah. Okay. So so we think we've created a little bit of movement here. We created hope. Yes. Uh, people who who were literally uh, part of the problem was the community was just talking about it, excited about it. They'd meet month after month, and they talked about how bad it was. And we're finding, 
let's go do something. Take action. Yeah, so we, so we did this. And I think we inspired people that, that you can actually take action, right? The other is, you know, we, we've kind of hit them with a, this was a stick, right? Well, what about a carrot? You know, can we do tax credits to incentivize investments into, into these communities? And so I think we've got to figure out ways to actually incentivize these, these folks to actually do the right thing. But then, then the final thing is to get people who look like Derek, to get people who are, you know, women who are actually the decision makers in the capital, you know, some of the capital allocation decision makers. And we don't have much of that. And that's going to take 15 years. So, mm-hmm. so the short term, medium term and long term strategies. Yeah. But at the end of my life, what I'm hoping is that we actually, we actually achieve Derek. Right. And Derek, you as an entrepreneur now, as somebody trying to raise funds, build a company, what effect do you think this has on you, both in the short term and the long term? I mean, in the short term, like I mentioned before, it's the discouragement, right? You mm-hmm. know, if you, if you just remind you, I come from winning Grammys year after year after year. Yeah. I come from, you know, a life of, 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 of working very hard, yes. right? but, but being rewarded yeah. for my accomplishments. Yeah, you, you right? put the effort in. You put the effort in, right? And, 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 and it's paid back, right? And, but to, to now throw that in the back seat, right? To then go into this other field where you see where, you know, where, where you could provide even more value to even more people and then you're shut down. Yeah. Right? You know, that 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 feeling for one who is not, you know, um, you know, uh, just t- tenacious enough, you know, to continue to persevere through that, right? We just quit. Absolutely. Right? And imagine what that could do for the for the future to come for the youth, for, for, yeah. for the inspiration of the people, that the hundreds and thousands of people that follow me, yeah. if they have great ideas, right? What, what what could do for those people who might be like, if Ali couldn't do it, like what makes somebody like me, you know, have the opportunity or the the the, the will to do so, right? Yeah. So if anything, at the bare minimum, want it's inspire those creators that, you know- are, uh, At least I can take a shot. Yeah, a hundred percent. And that's all you need is to take a shot. Yeah. That's all you need. You know, yeah. a lot of us are stricken before the shot is even made. Yeah. Right. So if we can at least start taking the shots, then we'll start seeing more of these companies being developed, more of them being funded, right? Yeah. And the world changing at factor rate. Yeah. Stunning to me was the 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 reception you got yeah. at the, not only at the legislature, but uh, when we were flying back, the yeah. social media that yeah. was coming up. Yeah. Was, was an unbelievable response from a community that said, How did you even do this? Right now. This is heroic and you know, so it was so unique mm. that, that somebody like Derek would actually go and speak to the power. Yeah, so you know, as an academic, I'm always thinking like, okay, like how would I measure this effect? And so the, the the true factor is like, as these things become transparent, as these numbers become transparent, if we see behavior shifts from the VCs in both the investment choices, uh, but then also seeing the up upswing of um, of entrepreneurs from uh, of you know of, of women entrepreneurs, black entrepreneurs, black women entrepreneurs getting both standing up and right. saying I'm a tried and also right. getting funded how long do you think that's going to take what's your what's your to me a, a generation you know because at the end of the day who are we really trying to affect we're trying to affect the young the mm-hmm. children of color the yeah. young girls you know the saying you can't be what you can't see we mm-hmm. need to we need to start uh, putting up women and putting up people of color in heroic positions mm-hmm. in business so that these kids can grow up thinking that they can do that too yeah but I believe the seed is planted now, right? Yeah. I think the, the seed has been planted. Yeah. Um, and it just needs to continue to be nurtured and watered, right? The work that Kelly and everyone at F5, even myself now being a part of this journey, right? I think, you know, at a bare minimum, which I'm seeing, like you mentioned in the social media response, right? I'm seeing, you know, creators, you know, now really moving in that direction of, you know, finding ways to solve problems that they deal with on a daily basis and trying to create a business behind it. Yeah. Right? In this short time, right? So, yeah. you know, I imagine that we keep our foot in the gas and, you know, I, I see this really, uh, uh, like, like like Kelly mentioned, you know, you know affecting a generation in yeah. positive. And we talk a lot about this is not a one and done. This was the nose under the tent. So we've got a lot of work to do, mm-hmm. you know, and that, uh, and Derek's continuing to expand his. He just met with Congress mm-hmm. and, uh, about AI, as a matter mm-hmm. of fact, uh, and, and started to exert his influence, uh, you know, uh, or on the federal level as well. So it, it should be an interesting one. Thank you.